Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hey, hi, hello, my name is Lauren. I'm so excited to be sharing with you guys today a huge Amazon fall haul. You can probably already see this giant pile right next to me. I have so much to share with you guys. I have found so many cute things for fall and I'm so, so excited about them. I will be linking my size and my measurements down below. So if you wanna go and check out my size and you wanna kind of compare to see what size you might wanna get, I will have that information linked down below as well as all of the items in the order in which I share them so that you can go and shop them as well. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump on into it. First things first, I have on this dress today. This is the perfect fall transitional piece in my opinion because it is a tank top dress. It is a bit more of a form fitted style dress, but it does have a slit in the back. It can be dressed up and dressed down in my opinion. I personally like wearing it with a pair of sneakers. You could also throw on a, a denim jacket or even a cute little sweater and belt it up under for a cute little fall look. I think that this is just a great transitional piece in general because you can still wear it while it's hot outside but you can also transition it into those cooler months next up are these pair of jeans these are like the go-to jean for fall in my opinion they are by levi's and they're a really great light wash color this is their 724 high rise straight crop i got mine in size 32 very similar to like a size 14. i really like the rips on this and just the not skinny style but more of a straight leg style so you can definitely rock them make them a bit more trendy but they are a little cropped as well and I personally love the crop jean look I think they're also really cute for fall because you can wear them with fun booties or you can wear them continuing on at the late end of summer with some sandals and like a short sleeve shirt or a tank top I just think these are staple jeans that I will be wearing literally all of fall I am obsessed with this next pair of jeans again it is a Levi's and these ones are black straight legs leg crop jeans. They do have some distressing on one of the knees, not both of them, but the bottom has a really cute distressed hem. I think they're really fun. It just kind of adds a little something extra to an otherwise plain pair of black jeans. These again are the 724 high rise straight crop. I got mine in a 32 and I would say that these definitely fit a little more true to size than the lighter wash pair. I think these are a staple for fall. You've got to have a great pair of light wash jeans, dark wash jeans and of course a black pair of jeans they're going to go with everything that you have and again these are really stretchy and very comfortable they pass the sit test you're not going to be like struggling to breathe when you sit down i think they're a 10 out of 10 would would definitely recommend these next up is a pair of jeans from the brand madewell but madewell is actually sold on amazon at least you can find several different pieces of theirs so these are a bit more pricier but i totally believe that they're worth it they are a true denim color a very amazing medium wash. I love the ends on these. Again, they're that straight style. These are really cute, um, like raw hems on them. I just think they look a little bit different than some of the others I've seen before. These honestly just feel really well made. Um, they're really soft, very comfortable, easy to sit in. They're stretchy. I will say that as you wear them, they do stretch out a bit. I would honestly recommend sizing it down if you can. These ones are called the perfect vintage jean and I got mine again at a size 32. But as I mentioned, I think you could definitely size down so keep that in mind as you're ordering and they definitely are worth the price next up these jeans are my one true love y'all i want these jeans in like every color possible these are again by a levi these ones are specifically the rib cage straight i got mine in a 32 i think 32 is fine because this is more of that like stiff denim material so it will stretch out as you wear it but when you first put it on it's definitely going to feel a bit tight so be forewarned with that, but they're also still really movable. I love that they have more of that wide leg at the bottom. And I personally just love the wash of these. These don't have any rips in them at all. As you can see, no distressing on the bottom. These are just great classic black jeans. And I think that they go great with everything. They have more of that like looser style fitting where they fit around the waist but they're a little looser around the butt region and on the legs so more of like a dad or mom style fit jean but these have got to be one of my favorite purchases from amazon recently i am obsessed with these jeans and can't recommend them enough. Now I'm going to move on to some dresses. And the first one is this gorgeous rust colored kind of faux 
turtleneck dress and it is a sweater dress it's got these beautiful little I believe these are bell sleeves where they're cinched in a little bit at their wrist but they do kind of bell out on the arm this is a more fitted style dress so it will be more of like a bodycon style I will say though that you can definitely dress that down with a pair of sneakers or more casual shoes or if you were going somewhere for a nicer fall event, you could wear a pair of heels or really nice boots with it, and it would also work really well. I love this material though. This dress is so soft, it is stretchy, it is comfortable, and it is beyond flattering. It's one of my favorite fall pieces that I found, and it does come in a ton of different colors. This next dress is absolutely stunning. It would be perfect for a Sunday brunch, or a girl's trip, or even um, a more casual wedding where you need a shorter dress um, instead of a long dress. I just think it'll be so cute in fall in general. Mine, um, I accidentally ripped a little hole in. I don't know if y'all can see that. I accidentally ripped a hole in mine, I think, when I was trying it on. So be careful. Um, it definitely is more of like a, I don't wanna say it's a cheap material, but it's more of a thinner material. It is a double line, so it's not like sheer. You can't see through it. But it has a ton of ruffling on the front, on the sleeves. It has the cinched in sleeve again. You've got kind of a layered look down the bottom and then the back looks like this I just think this is so flattering and cute it's very feminine very girly it's actually a light blue with some little white polka dots on it um, and it has a really great little v-neck sort of collar situation and it cinches in right at your waist making you look really tiny I got mine in a large I would recommend sizing based off of your bust rather than your hips um, because it is more of an a-line style so if you've got a smaller waist it does flow out nice um, like for me with someone with wider hips that's why I love dresses like this so I would go recommending um, off of your bust size rather than your hip size or your waist size so I did a large in mine and it fit perfectly for the orange dress I believe I forgot to mention but I did order it in an extra large as it was a more ribbed or knit type of dress so I knew that it was gonna be kind of shrunk anyways as that type of material does stretch out over your body this next dress is a fall staple in my opinion again i love this dress so much it's just so simple and so cute again you can dress it up or you can dress it down it's got a great neckline here i love the color of it gorgeous big bell sleeves and then it's got this kind of tiered ruffle situation going on this will be great for literally anybody it also comes in some short sleeve and i believe tank top versions as well so if you want one now while it's still hot or if you're where you live stays hot for a long period of time you can find it in other versions I personally love the color of this one it just screams fall to me and it's just such a good basic I love how flattering it is this I did decide to order in an extra large just because I think the fit was fine I definitely could have sized down if I wanted to because it is a very oversized style dress so if you want yours to fit a little bit nicer you could definitely size down if you'd like this next piece is definitely for those really cold days on fall or more fall going into winter but i couldn't help myself i had to snag it because i know it will be sold out if i wait till winter it is this jacket but i'm so excited about this jacket it just reminds me of those classic like levi corduroy jackets it is a corduroy material on the outside which is brown and very soft it's got pockets on the front and you've also got your hand pockets down here and then the inside is completely lined in this super soft material it does a button shut but guys this is going to keep you so warm on those cold days and I just wanted to sag it now because sadly this is one of those pieces that literally will be sold out like all of winter I feel like because people love this style jacket so snag yours now before everyone goes crazy over it because I'm telling y'all and if you live somewhere that gets a little colder than most places then you could definitely still wear this in fall um, I live in the south so it does stay a little bit warmer later into the season but this is going to be a must have for me. Next I have a really pretty black top and I love this top. It's a great length. You can actually still tuck 
tuck it into some of your more high-waisted jeans. It's got a great kind of wide neckline here, almost a square neckline, um, but it does have more of a little scoop added to it. I love the sleeves on this though. That is definitely what makes this shirt. They're big bell sleeves and they do have a bit of a puffed shoulder. So it gives you a very girly feeling in my opinion. I just think they're super feminine. You could wear this for work or you could wear it to go out. Uh, you could wear it as just a solid basic. I just think that you can do a lot of things with this style top. I grabbed mine in an extra large. I would definitely say it's true to size. I am obsessed with this next piece. It is a neutral oversized blazer, y'all. I am all about the blazer trend this year. I know it was popular last year, but I'm hopping on it again this year. I snagged mine in this beautiful neutral kind of khaki color. It does not button up. It is just an open um, style and it does kind of have the collar and then these pockets are real very functional it is meant to be an oversized style so I did get mine in an extra large so that it would remain in that style obviously if you want something more fitted you can size down absolutely um, but I love the oversized style you could pair it with like a hooded sweatshirt underneath and a great pair of jeans in the winter or late fall or in this time now you could throw it over a dress. It's great for work, it's great for fun going out outfits and I just absolutely am obsessed with this. And it feels really nice too. I just need to esteem mine as you can see. I'm so obsessed. This next top also needs to be esteemed but I love it. So cute. I have been seeing these everywhere and they are like these puff shoulder tanks. They kind of look like muscle tees and they don't have a really deep side, but they've got that beautiful little puff sleeve that just makes an otherwise basic shirt gorgeous and just so flattering. I love tucking this into my jeans. This is more of like a satiny type of material. I did get a large in this um, because I like it as a more fitted style rather than super loose um, you could size up if you wanted to depending on the fit that you really want it to have i like mine in a size large um, it is not a cropped shirt so you don't have to worry about that it would be great 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 for anyone who works in like a corporate office or you could wear it out on a girl's night paired up with some fun jeans i would love to see this with like a pair of leather pants i just think it would be perfect for fall next up is a fall essential a great neutral colored cardigan this one is super soft i grabbed it in a size large it's by the brand zessica i grabbed several things from them before they always have fun stuff um, it has a little bit of a cuff on the sleeve it's got pockets on the front with a little bit of a kind of ribbed material there it's just super soft material it feels really well made it's heavy it's going to keep you warmer on those colder days or it'd be great for wearing around the house it's just again a solid fall basic that you're gonna wear so many times and it goes with everything next is a cute little lightweight sweater this will be great as a fall transitional piece because it is really thin it is a little see-through so I would say you definitely have to wear something underneath this one it gives kind of a waffle style look to it but it definitely is knit I grabbed mine in this white color and I just again this is a great staple that I can wear with jeans or I can wear now on a cooler day with some fun shorts or something or even a little skirt. You can kind of see here my hand <laughs> is definitely a little see-through. Um, it is soft. It doesn't feel super cheap. It feels pretty well made. I would wash this on like a low cycle or something or a delicate cycle just so you don't snag any of the fabric. But it's again just a basic that every Everyone needs in their closet for fall. Next up are these pants and y'all I snagged these for a girl's trip because they're so cute. Trouser pants are so in for this fall and I am obsessed with them. Next is this adorable sweater. It is a light blue with some really pretty clouds on it. This sweater is so soft y'all and it's going to be a favorite of mine this fall. I love the idea of bringing these like fun colors that we've seen throughout the summertime into the fall um, by having this more fall 
texture with a lighter color palette like this one. I love the little clouds on this. I think it's so cute and adorable. You got a great little crew neck here. I believe I got mine in a size extra large. I tend to like to go up on my sweaters so that they're not super tight. Um, but if you wanted more of a fitted look, I would do your true size or size down one. But again, super soft, so cute, love the color. 10 out of 10. Last clothing item, and then we're gonna move on to some accessories. Another great fall sweater. This one's got more of a mock neck, little turtleneck moment. It is a very comfy, very cozy, a great knitted sweater. I like that the little cuffs on the sleeve have this sort of rolled up style to them. It just adds a little something extra to it that most sweaters don't look like. The bottom does have that kind of ribbed style as well and a little fold up. I like tucking mine into a pair of cute jeans or you could wear it with a fun skirt on those not so hot days. I would recommend wearing something under the lighter color ones as they are a little bit see-through, um, but the darker color ones you would probably be fine with just as a heads up. I did get this one in a large because I do have several larger or oversized sweaters, so I thought this one would be fun to kind of get in a more regular size to wear a little bit more fitted. It does have more of a drop style shoulder on it as well, um, so it would be good oversized too with more of that like slouch styled look moving on to accessories I have two bags this first one y'all this bag feels so nice so heavy it would be a fantastic work bag or even a night out bag date night this is by the brand Aldo I got mine in this really fun kind of neutral blushy pink color it does have this really nice long strap so you could wear it crossbody if you like or just hanging off of your shoulder like so once it's opened up there is a lot of storage and space inside to put a lot of your things that you need um, i really like how structured this bag is and the clasp is really nice it just feels really well made um and i love the material of it i just think it's so classy and cute it just reminds me of all of those like ysl and chanel bags and you got it from amazon and you know a hot look for less this next bag mm, i am obsessed y'all this is by aldo as well and this one's got a little short hook so you could hang it on your arm it also comes with straps so you could do a crossbody as well this puff ball is detachable so if that's not your thing you can totally take it off i kind of like it without but with it without it on it literally just screams to me like Oh my gosh, she is the boss of this company and she's about to come in and make a million dollar deal. Like, is that not the vibes you get from it? Because I do. Um, I love all of the kind of like matte black hardware. It's so pretty. And then you've got the little twist and then you open it up. And again, you've got a very big opening in here and you can attach the crossbody straps onto this side. I just love these bags so much. I think they feel so well made and honestly you got them from amazon babes like they're just a win-win for me i love the kind of patent uh, material on them like it just looks so nice and now we're gonna move on to shoes which i have four pairs and i'm obsessed with them you guys i'm just i'm just gonna come on right out there and show you my favorite ones because they don't get better than this babes ah I got these tall white cowboy boots, and if you aren't familiar with trends, you don't follow a lot of trends, cowboy boots are in this fall, y'all. Cowboy boots are in, and yes, I got these little puppies on Amazon. Are they the most high quality material? No. Do they get the job done and still look absolutely adorable and super high end fashionable? Yes, these ones are more of a knee high style boot. Um, I will say that the actual calf calf whatever you want to say calf um can be a little tight so if you have a wider calf definitely keep that in mind i can't remember if they had their measurements online or not um but if possible maybe you could size up and that might help out some i got mine in my true size and they are a little tight on my legs but as i mentioned you guys i've been losing weight so i think that these will fit um, not too long from now anyways, but I love them. Like I am just absolutely obsessed with these boots. You will probably see them on my Instagram all the time. 
you're not following me on Instagram, go and follow me. I just love them. The next pair of shoes would be great as fall transition pieces because they are open toed and it is these fun little heels. They have this really great kind of like puffy patent leather look, which is super trendy still. And it's got a fun little heel where it's a stiletto style, but then it pops out a little bit wider. If you can see that here, go old school YouTuber on you for a moment. Love these. Like, I think they're so cute. They're very flattering. They are like a flip-flop style. So um, they can get a little uncomfortable if you're not used to wearing heels. Keep that in mind. I dropped the other shoe to this, but it's fine. These shoes are going to be my go-to for fall and probably winter. They are the Supergas. They're so cute. They look like that on the back and then on the front. They're just a platform white tennis shoe. And guys, they're just a staple. They're just a staple. Um, I like getting the platform one, even though I'm tall, I'm like five, seven, five, eight almost. I like getting the platform one because I think it honestly just elevates your otherwise simple white tennis shoe. It makes it a little bit more fashionable. It adds a little something to it. It's also great for my short girls out there. Um, I love these. These are fantastic and they are a staple in my closet. And last, but not least, we have one more pair of shoes and I love these more than probably anything else in this Amazon try on haul. Ah, these are Steve Madden. They are the Howler boot, I guess is what they're called. These are like the it booty for fall and I'm telling y'all this now go and snag them before they're sold out because so many different brands have been making these I will try and also link a less expensive version because I know there's another one on Amazon that is not as expensive as the Steve Madden ones um Steve Madden ones still are really decently priced these are going to be like the boot of the fall I'm telling you everyone will have these style boots it's got that more chunky style um, block heel on it, but they're still really comfortable. They're easy to slide on. They go with so many different things, but they're going to be perfect for fall and winter. You'll probably be able to wear these even into next year. So I think they're going to be a great staple shoe in your closet. Would highly recommend. They do come in a couple different colors, but I personally like this neutral one the best. I think it's going to go with the most things and I just love neutrals myself. They're so cute y'all. Just Oh my gosh. Leave a comment down below. Let me know. Do you like these? I know some people are a little iffy about this whole like intense bottom part or sole of the shoe, but they're so cute. I want to know which piece was your favorite or you're looking forward to the most and make sure to leave it down below in the comment section. As mentioned at the beginning of this video, you can find my size and my measurements in the description box, as well as a link to all of these items in the order that they were shown. Right here on the screen for you guys, I'm going to link my last try on haul as well as an entire playlist full of other try ons if you want to go and check out more. I'm also going to put my subscribe button down here so you guys can stick around on my channel. I upload every week. And without further ado guys, that brings us to the end of today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you all in my next one. Bye guys.